if you just ask chat gpt for answers you will not learn there is always a fear and especially for children say who are in school and smart enough but not really very wise where uh, they are using chat gpt in order to do their homework for them now the fear that these parents have is that by doing this they are short circuiting the process how do you protect against people using it uh, to produce something which they don't really understand so one of the things that we've done look today if you ask chat gpt you know uh, 2x plus 5 is equal to 11 it will tell you the answer right and that's not what you want to do if you are a student um, one of the things that we've done and this is a part of how we are building with India and building for India. We had our product research team in India. And one of the things that came out of that is what we call study mode in ChatGPT. So if you click on the plus bot button at the bottom left of ChatGPT, uh, you switch on study mode. Uh, ChatGPT stops being some, somebody who gives you an answer, but becomes like an AI tutor for you, right? If you say, uh, my previous example, 2x plus 5 is equal to 11, it will first ask you, who are you? Why are you asking me this question? And let me help you get to the answer instead of giving you the answer. So one of the things is study mode, which we are finding uh, very useful. The other thing which is very important to keep in mind is it's also about guiding and uh, you know, uh, helping young people understand how to use this technology. Uh, learning does take effort. You know, if uh, my child is in class five, and if they're trying to learn multiplication, if I hand them a calculator, there is no way that they will learn multiplication. If you just ask ChatGPT for answers, you will not learn. I think that is important as well. And so as a part of that, we work with schools, we work with colleges where we bring this understanding that, look, at the end of the day, this is a technology which is very helpful to us, but we need to use it wisely as well. And how do we bring in tools like study mode to be able to then advance that.